Well, it's definitely that time. Good afternoon and evening, everyone. This is Tessa Spade today. Welcome to Two Wednesday. It's Tuesday, September 3rd, 2024, day 247. You're my friend now. We're feeling okay. Well, we had a doctor's appointment, a, uh, a minor doctor's appointment today. It was an in-house call. Those are easier because they show up to your house, but that means you have to have a clean house. Which was why Sweet Pea didn't get in the way or anything, so they, they had some la- I was, well, Obviously they had some laughs because Sweet Pea's rather entertaining. You made a mess in our room, though. She got a hold of some a uh, ramen packet, proceeded to open it and crumble it all over our bedroom floor. And it's we're constantly cleaning up after that one. She does not like stuff with that, but she also really likes her. Uh, she really likes her dry ramen. It's unfortunate too. We've been trying to give her other things, and she just wants a dry ramen. The problem we're facing right now is both of the kids are starting to get unbelievably picky. And what can you do? Kids get picky. We thought we had it out. We thought we were managing to avoid it. But I think they just had, just had a few too many occasions of having the sweets. Which means now all they prefer is junk food. Typical for kids, am I right? But then, yeah, but we at least sweep these still what's having our green beans and stuff. It's just so I get a little tired of cooking all this food and then them not eating it so they can try to weasel out of the food they have so they can have something they want. But that's, you know, typical parenting conundrums. Other than that, we are preparing right now because we literally have 10 days, 10 days and 11 days, for, uh, respectively, for both. Buttercups and Sweet Pea's birthdays, that they come up in 10 and 11 days. For the both of them. So, we're trying to prepare for that. I can't say anything about what we're planning because I have to keep everything very flush off Buttercup's home from school right now and I don't want her to hear anything of what we have planned. Because I can't spoil anything. You, even I have to be careful with that. But... Uh, there isn't too, too much. I will say, so far, it's, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm too good to both Tara and myself are too good decision where we're just, we're taking a break from PSO2. We're, we're definitely, we're, um, we're burnt out. I mean, I mean, we've been mentioning it a lot, but as of last week, we've already stopped. We didn't play it all over the weekend. It's now two Wednesday and we still haven't played. So, we didn't play... I think I stopped. I'm gonna say on Wednesday is when we stopped. Last week. So, it's been almost a week. And... I haven't had any urges to go back in and play, so... For the last we're in, um, sorry, Atlas, I apologize, but... We're definitely, definitely taking a break. We are unbelievably burnt out and we're tired of... I don't quite call it though. As I'm, uh, Tara and I are rich, we're story driven gamers. We, we like games with a good story. And right now, PSO2 doesn't, it, 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 that's what they don't have. And they don't have any story planned for like the next year. And the last time they had any story in the game was what? And oh, Mark or May or something like that. So it's, it's already been a while. And they don't have anything planned for the four upwards of the next year in terms of story. And they only have a few events. Which means the same rinse and repeat for the same kind of events is like limited time everything. It's like, I want some story, thank you. I want some plot, I want some things to explore. And they're not providing it. Plus, there are a whole bunch of other things going on with gaming where I just need to avoid the, um... The MMO platforms, because they're... They're very... I don't want to say time intensive. I guess you can say that where it takes a lot of investment in your time. And more and more so, we're having less available time for ourselves. So it would be best if we just give, give that a rest. Because... 
there are so many more things and projects we want to be doing here at home and not at home. And if we're doing MMOs, we can't exactly do that. Especially since it's one of the grindiest, grind best games I've ever played. Like, I want to say in terms of getting decent gear in that game, it's more of a grind than Genshin Impact. And that's saying a lot. Because people complain about how the grind fest is for leveling up your characters in there. Leveling up in PSO2 isn't much of a deal. As much as is making sure you have the, um... In-game currency and time to get the gear and level the gear you want. But your your uh, character level, that's easy. All of our characters are max level right now anyway, so we have no worry whatsoever. But when it comes to the gear, it's unbelievably hard to get. And then it takes a lot of time and money. In-game money, of course, unless you're a whale. To level all that gear up. So we're like, yeah, we... We've done all that, we finally got our gear leveled up, I'm like, oh yeah, here's some new beards, so you can do endgame content. I'm like, I just leveled up my gear. I don't want to have to do it again if I can't enjoy what I've worked on. And on top of that, still no story. It's the same stuff, so we're, we're burnt out. So we're going to be playing Starfield because, like, like we mentioned, um, two days ago, that Batter Space is coming out on the 30th of this month, so I want to be caught up and kind of remember everything from, from Starfield because it's been like a year since we played Starfield. And I, I do like the game, it's just very digital resource intensive. It takes a lot of our computer resources to play. I even had to lower the resolution on OBS and do everything I can just so it doesn't over- just so the encoder doesn't overload. Ah, making progress there, hopefully. And then of course... Um, the Snarl with a Gun. That game's fun. There's Go Simulator 3 because we're still trying to figure out how to get the... Well, the uh, multiplayer function on the Nintendo Switch working. Uh, Ghost in 3 has said that their, that their game is cross-platform. But it doesn't say anything about cross-platform for the Switch. It says it for mobile, PC, Xbox, all the platforms it's on, except for Nintendo Switch. So, it's a matter of thinking if I get any answers about that, because I've inquired, but nothing, nothing in response yet. I'd love to pull- I oh, know, if you have the answer, please put it in the comments below. Is Code Simulator 3 on the Nintendo Switch cross-platform with the other platforms? Ah, uh, we would be very happy to know that, so we can play with Buttercup. And Lily, of course. <laughs> but... There isn't a whole lot else, um... Well, we definitely... We... Sorry, we didn't get to do the photography that we want. We didn't get to do the space photography because when we finally had the oppor... What is that? Ah. Oh. When we finally had the opportunity... It, it was overcast. So our new moon was... Well, it was just overcast and rainy. Well, it rains this morning. It didn't rain last night, but it was overcast, so... No space photos for us. Oh well. There's always next year when the next Milky Way season comes in. Hopefully then we'll have a better time doing all of that. But let me think here. I know I'm thinking about what we're gonna do for dinner tonight. I do have a baguette and brie cheese that I can uh, cut up in a little bit to snack on. Luckily I'm not really I'm not really too worried about supper right now, but I know I'm gonna have to worry for the kids later. Ah, uh, I do have some chicken nuggets they can have if they want that. I just don't have any fresh fries for them. Which I might be to do that. I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe they're not gonna need or even want it because there have been a few times I've done stuff like that and they just won't eat it. But they're hungry enough, it'll work. But again, it's a matter of... Yeah. If they're hungry enough for that. Uh, I, I can't I can't even I can't even get buttercup to eat ravioli. Like step boy already went ravioli. I can't even get her to eat that. Sweet pea will eat spaghettios, which is good, but we don't need to get any of that right now. I just need to worry about dinner tonight. 
Once again, it's probably gonna be chicken nuggets because I did find for myself and Lilia, we did find the um uh jalapeno and stuffed chicken nuggets. It's it's something newer, but I'll, I gotta tell you right now, it is so good. You have gotta try these jalapeno stuffed chicken nuggets. They're they're amazing. They're really good. And again, I highly advise if you haven't tried them to go try them. But I th the thing is, I can't remember what the brand is. Though so that's the problem because it's so incredibly new that I'd have to look at the packaging and I don't want to get out of all of this just doing iron this brand. And I guess that's enough of that. I I've done enough of rambling, haven't I? I this really one of the other things right now is I'm think uh, like. As I'm talking right now, because it, it I, I think I've been sitting too long in the past few days. I've, I've done too much sitting and not enough walking. So, I'm... Excuse me, with the amount of, uh, fast talking I'm trying to do right now, I'm getting a little bit of a head rust. Because I just... I, I, think, I think I've been too relaxed over the weekend, so I, I need to... Bay my... Wing up in this fat. Well, the other part is I am kind of tired. I had some coffee today, and it, it's trying very hard to do the whole opposite thing, where instead it wants me to be tired instead of awake. Which is unfortunate, because we had death wish coffee. And no, instead of waking us up, you're like, you did not really know. What nap time? I don't like napping. I don't even like sleeping. Dang. I hate sleeping because it's hard to get up once I fall asleep. Which is weird because it's hard for me to fall asleep. But once I get into the actual sleeping, it's hard for me to get out of that. And I hate it because I like being awake. I I, I really prefer, I prefer being awake, okay? This, nothing's going to change that because when I'm awake, I can do things. When I'm sleeping, I can't do things. I like doing things. Maybe that's where Sweet Pea gets it. She gets it on me. Because she is so hard to get to sleep at night. <laughs> more work flying here to turn around, but she's still up till past me. She's now up past midnight. Every night now. There's nothing we can do about it. We're still well, we're, we're gonna be trying. But again, there's not a whole lot we can do about that. Anyway, that's enough for this Tuesday. I hope everyone's enjoyed it. This is Press a Spade, of course. Again, Tuesday, September 3rd, 2024. Day 247. And we... We will just have to see you all tomorrow. Because I'll be the one here on home day. How's that? Should that be good? I mean, it better be. Anyway, please take care of yourselves. I'll see you all tomorrow. Good night, everyone.